who would make a woman grow a baby just to watch it suffer and die? It's barbaric and it really has to stop. And I was delivered of a child that had almost the entirety of his organs outside his body. He is now miraculously a fit and healthy five-year-old. I wouldn't wish what we went through on anyone. We as legislators need to acknowledge that change is happening, that people are calling for it, and the international community demands it. The dignity shown to the tiny corpse of my nephew on his first and final journey home will not be extended to my son as he will have to be locked in the boot of a car on a ferry journey across the Irish Sea or have his ashes delivered by courier weeks later along with the Amazon and eBay purchases. sat me up in the bed and uh, they told me that my daughter had anencaphaly. So I asked them to explain what that was and I'll never forget, she just said that that's where the baby has little or no skull and her hand went up and she said, Anon without cephaly brain. So your, your, your child has no brain and no skull. We felt like fugitives, we really did. We didn't want anybody to know where we were going in case they tried to stop us. We had to leave the jurisdiction, obviously. That phrase made it very clear to us it wasn't available in Ireland. We don't have a grave for our son. Um, his cremated remains were delivered by courier a week or two after he was born. Abortion is a conversation and there's two sides to it and you can understand pro-life and you can understand the other side of it. This is a completely separate subject that needs to be given the consideration it deserves at the end of the day.